If you're like a lot of Canadians, chances are you don't have a company phone, but you still use one for your job. Bringing your own phone to work is a trend that a lot of employers are starting to accept with some conditions. I'm Graham for Wireless Wave TV, and today we're going to walk you through the do's and don'ts of bringing your own device to work. When it comes to bringing your phone to work, the first thing you're going to want to be aware of is your company's policy on even having it with you. While it might seem a little old-fashioned, some employers say no to smartphones on the job for a few reasons. They don't want you to be distracted, it can be a breach of privacy regulations, or they're worried about losing confidential information. So that's step one. Do ask if you're allowed to have your phone with you, and when you can use it. If your company is comfortable with smartphone use, they may have open Wi-Fi for you to use. That's great for keeping you from using your personal data plan. So step two, do use your company Wi-Fi. Which leads into step three. Don't use it for stuff that's not safe for work. If you're doing, seeing, or saying something that you wouldn't feel comfortable doing on your work PC, don't do it on your phone. Now, the ultimate and bring your own device is when your employer lets you connect your device to their network so you can sync email and contacts. It can be great for keeping on top of projects and staying in touch with the right people. So if you're a power user, do add your phone to the network. Now, with great power comes great responsibility, so know that when you do, you're accepting a few things. One, your device is going to need a password. Two, you can be held responsible if your device goes missing. And three, the security policies that come with being on the network mean that IT can wipe your phone at any time. Don't let your phone out of your sight and don't lend it to anyone. Your job could be on the line. So what about backups? Well, do back up your phone, but don't back up your company's data to your own personal computer or to your cloud space. If you do leave the company, it's your responsibility to make sure the device is wiped, so stay on top of things. If you keep those tips in mind, bringing your phone to work won't be an issue. You can be more productive, stay in touch, and do it all on a phone or tablet that you love. So here's a final tip for you. Mute your device in meetings. I'm not saying you'll be tempted to play Angry Birds, but just in case. I'm Graham for Wireless Wave TV. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time.